Welcome kindergartners. This is week four, lesson 17. Hi boys and girls. Here are some things that you need to be doing every day to strengthen your literacy skills. Make sure you watch the alphabet chant video every day. Read our decodable reader for the week. Practice your high frequency word list. Make sure you're reading every day and completing a reading log entry. And don't forget about handwriting. Make sure you're practicing your handwriting skills using letters A through Z, high frequency words, CBC words, even short and simple sentences. Make sure you get all of this practice in so you can become a stronger reader. Hi, kindergartners. My name is Mrs. Hodges and I'll be your virtual teacher for today. I hope you're ready to learn something new. Let's get started. All right, boys and girls, let's start with some high frequency word practice. The word in the box is have. Can you say have? That's right, have. Say it one more time, have. Let's use it in a sentence. I have three cookies. Let me hear you use it in a sentence. Perfect. What's that word one last time? Have, excellent. Okay, our next word is of. Say that word with me, of. Say it one more time, of. When you see this word, you're gonna say of. Our last high frequency word is from. Can you say that word? From. The word in the box is, that's right, from. Let's use it in a sentence. The card is from my mom. Let me hear you make a sentence. Great job. What's this word? From. Now that we're all warmed up with our high frequency words, let's work on our sound drill practice. Today's sound drills will be all of our vowel sounds. So let's get started with the letter A. A as in alligator. Let's say that together. A, A alligator. What does the letter sound A make? Ah, ah, ah. You say it one more time for Ms. Hodges. Ah, ah, ah. Great job. So the letter A makes a sound as in ah, ah, alligator. All right, here's our next sound. It's from the letter E. The sound says eh as in elephant. Can you say the eh sound? Perfect. Let's say eh, eh, elephant. Perfect. The letter E makes the what sound? Eh. Our next letter sound is the letter I, as in iguana. Can you make the eh, eh sound? That's right. Eh, eh, iguana. Say it with me. Eh, eh, iguana. Perfect. That's that letter I sound. Last time. Eh. I, iguana. Perfect. Next up, we have the O sound, as in octopus. Can you say ah, ah, ah? Everyone say ah, ah, octopus. Great. Whenever you see the letter O, you're going to make the ah, ah sound. Our last letter sound practice is going to be with the letter U, as in umbrella. Can you say uh, as an umbrella. Great. Can you say a uh, uh, umbrella? Great. When you see the U sound, you are going to make the sound uh. This is one of my favorite parts of the lesson, practicing to read words. So everybody get your tapping fingers ready with Mrs. Hodges and let's get started. The word in the box is thin. Can you say thin? Great, let's tap it out. The first sound is the th, th sound. So we're gonna tap it out. Th, eh, eh, mm. th, eh, mm. Thin, everyone say that word with me, thin. 
Our next word is ship. Can you say the word ship? All right, let's get ready to tap it out. Shh, the SH make one sound, so we're doing one tap. Shh, what's the next sound? I, last sound. Shh, I, ship. Do it again. Shh, I, ship. Very good. This word is thud. Everyone say thud. Put your arm out, stretch it out nice and tall, and let's get started. The th sound is gonna be our first sound we hear. Even though there's four letters, we actually know there's only three sounds because the T and the H make one sound, so they get one tap. Th, uh, d. Th, uh, d. Thud. Very good. Let's do it. Let's see if you can do it by yourself. Very good, boys and girls. Let's move on to our next word. All right, here's another fun word. This word is shop. Everyone say shop. I'm going to use it in a sentence this time. I like to shop for my kids. Shop. Can you use this word in a sentence? Let me hear one. Great. So now that we know what the word is, we use it in a sentence, let's go ahead and tap it out. We're going to do both ways this time. So we know there are four letters here, but there are only how many sounds? Three. That's right. The SH sound, there are two letters, but they make only one sound. So we're going to go ahead and tap it out. Stretch your arm out nice and long. So we have the sh, ah, sh, ah, shop. Let's use our, our tapping fingers. Sh, ah, shop. Very good, boys and girls. Let me see you tap it out, either on your arm or on your fingers. Go. Perfect. I like how you made sure that the S and H were only one sound, which equals one tap. Let's keep going. All right, we made it to our last word. Let me see if you can sound out this word with Mrs. Hodges. G, uh, t, g, uh, t, gut. Everyone say gut. Let's use our arms, stretch it out nice and long. Let's go, what's the first sound we hear? G, g, g. What's the second sound? Uh, 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 and t, t, t. So let's do it again. G, uh, t, gut. Very good. Remember to use your strategies, whether you like it on your arm or tapping it out on your fingers. Yay, it is time to do our decodable reading for the week. The title of our decodable for this week is called Chip Can't Nap. I want you to pause this video and go rush and grab your distance learning pack and make sure you flip to the page that says Chip Can't Nap. Once you get to that page, start back up this video and we're gonna read it together. All right, I'm so glad you're ready now. The title of this book is called Chip Can't Nap. Go ahead and get your pointer fingers ready. Point your finger on that first word, Chip. And let's begin. Chip has a bed by the shop. Thud, bash, the cab will not hush. Chip cannot nap. Chip will dash to the van. The van is shut. Will Chip get a nap? Wow, you are such a great reader. Thank you so much for reading this book along with me. But now it is your turn to read the text all by yourself. So go ahead and turn to the first page and let me hear you read this text out loud, okay? I'm sitting right here and I wanna hear real nice and loud reading voices. Don't forget your pointer finger. So I wanna see you read this story from the beginning until the end. So go ahead and get started now. Awesome job of reading your decodable reader all by yourself. Let's sing a song together so we can move on to the next part of our lesson. Ready? One, two, three, let's sing. Now let's read the poem line by line. We'll figure out the words used all the time. When we read together, we sound like one. 
Start with me to have tons of fun. Okay, today's learning target says, I can follow along in a shared poem. So your job today will be to follow along with me as we read a shared poem. I want you to follow along word by word and line by line. The name of our shared poem is going to be, Have You Ever? The next learning target says, I can move my finger under words as I read them on a page from left to right and from top to bottom. So make sure as we're reading our poem that your pointer finger is down and you're reading along with me and keeping up. All right, just like our learning target said, we're going to do a read. And our read today is going to be with a poem. So I want you to read along with me as I read this poem out loud, okay? And then after we read the poem one time, we're going to search and try to find the mystery words that are hiding in this poem. Okay, so I'm going to need some detectives to help me out. So let's do a first read first, and then we'll talk about looking for those high frequency words or mystery words. Okay, so here we are. The title of this poem is called Have You Ever? Have you ever thought of the cat from the book with a big striped hat? Have you ever thought of the frog from the book with the big long log? Have you ever thought of the hen from the book with the large round pen? If you don't have one of these books, take them off the shelves and look, look, look. Let's sing another song. Let's solve the mystery. Let's solve the mystery. Clue by clue. Clue by clue. The clues will tell you what to do. The clues will tell you what to do to make the words clear to you. To make the words clear to you. We'll know the word. We'll figure it out. We'll know the word. We'll figure it out. Clue by clue, clue by clue. I hope you are singing. Time to turn into a detective and try to figure out our mystery word in our text. All right, we are going to read our new learning targets for right now. Read along with me. I can use clues from the poem to identify a mystery word. So we're gonna use clues to help us identify a mystery word. The next learner target says, I can recognize and read many high frequency words. So we're gonna be on the hunt for some words in this poem and we'll be able to recognize these words, identify them and be able to read them. Okay, so let's get started on those learning targets. We have our poem in front of us right now and I am going to provide you with a couple of clues. Where are my detectives at? Let me see you raise those hands. Who wants to be a detective to help Miss Hodges find words or some high frequency words? Go ahead and raise them up. I see you. All right, come on, you can help me. Let's take a look at our text and I'm gonna give you a couple of clues. We have three mystery words today, okay? Now, two of those mystery words have four letters, okay? So two mystery words have four letters. The last mystery word, because I told you there's three, the last mystery word has only two letters, okay? So let's see if we can figure out what the three mystery words are in this text. Let's take another read just to make sure. Okay, let's reread the text like we said we were going to do, and we're going to be on the hunt for these mystery words. So let's read it one more time. I'm gonna ask you to pause this video and um, I want someone at home with you to read this text with you. And I hope that you can find two words that have four letters and then one word that has two letters. Remember the mystery words in this text that we're looking for are gonna be repeated over and over again, okay? So I want you to stop this tape now and I want you to work with someone at home to identify the four letter words in this text and the two letter words in this text. And then we're gonna come back, okay? All right, so go ahead and start pointing them out. Pause the tape so it, you can take your time reading and finding. Good luck. All right, were you able to find the four letter words and the two letter words? I knew you can do it. 
So here's mine. As you can see on the screen, my four letter words are in green and my two letter words are in blue. Hmm, that's a lot of words that are highlighted right now. And remember, Ms. Hodges said we only have three mystery words. Right now, as I'm looking at the screen, I have way more than three words. So it looks like we need some more clues. All right, here are the next set of clues. The first four letter mystery word starts with the letter H. Everybody say H. I'm gonna draw H over here. Okay, so our first four letter mystery word begins with the letter H. That's a great clue. Some of you might already have the mystery word right in here, okay? Second clue. The second mystery word that is four letters starts with the letter F. So I'm gonna put a letter F over here, F. So the next four letter word starts with the letter F. So as we look into this poem, we're gonna be looking for four letter words that begin with the letter H, and four letter words that begin with the letter F. Our two letter word, mystery word, because remember, there are three mystery words we're trying to find out. Um, so the second one is going to start with the letter O. I'm gonna put O down here, okay? So hopefully those are some great clues that will help you out. Do a second read, and I want you to write down the words that you think are part of our mystery words from this text, okay? So pause the video, reread the text, find a four letter word that begins with H, find the four letter word that begins with F, and then the two letter word that begins with the letter O. Write them down and then we'll check over your work. You might need more clues, we'll see. Okay, detectives, did you find out the H word? Remember, the H mystery word had four letters. Let's look at all of our green text that we have here, all the words that are in green. And do we have any green words that start with the letter H? Hmm, I think I see one. Do you see it? There they are. Here is our first mystery word. Great job, high five for being a great detective. You identified our first mystery word that starts with the letter H and has four letters. And what is that word? Who can read that word? Right, that word is have. Say that word with me, have. How many times did we have the word have in our text today? Let's count them out. How many times? Let's see, one, two, three, and four. So we have, we have the word have in this text four separate times. Remember, I told you, you're gonna hear that word over and over again. It's gonna be repeated. So great job of finding our first mystery word, the word have, okay? Let's, let's spell it out for us. H, A, V, E have. Okay, time to hunt for our next mystery word. That's also four letters, but this mystery word starts with the letter F. Okay, detectives, we're ready for hunt number two. So I have identified and circled, and I hope you identify the same words that I did. I circled the four letter words that begin with the letter F in red. There's one additional word that I circle um, with the red circle and a purple circle. I'm gonna identify that with a little blue stripe right here and bring some attention to it. This word kind of tricked me. It was a word that began with the letter F and it also had four letters, right? One thing I wasn't too sure of, I remember that the word that is a mystery word is repeated over and over again. The word frog that has this little blue stripe right here, frog, is only read and written one time. So even though it follows the clue rules, it was not repeated over and over again. So let's take a look at the other word. And the other word that starts with the letter F and has four letters 
is the word from. Let's count how many times we see that word in our text. From, that's one, two, and three. Guess what? Our second mystery word is the word from. You guys are so smart. We only have one more mystery word to go. Okay, our last mystery word is right here in our text. I hope you circled the same words that I circled. Remember, the clue for our last mystery word was that it had two letters, and the first letter was the letter O. So I went ahead and circled all of the two-letter words that began with the letter O. And let's find out. Here's the word of. Let's see how many times I see the word of. It begins with the letter O, and it has two letters, of. Everyone say of. Let's count them out with me. One, two, three, and four. It's repeated in our text. So guess what, boys and girls? We have identified all three mystery words. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, we did that. And next thing we're going to do is be able to read these high frequency words and write them and use them in sentences. So let's say all three of our mystery words here today. Let's say the first one, have. The second one, from. The third one, of. Excellent job. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to practice what we've learned. It's time to go to work. Great jobs, detectives. You did an awesome job identifying the mystery words within our poem today. I would like you to run really quick and go grab your activity pack if you don't already have it in front of you. I wanna walk you through what you're gonna be working on today. So please turn to page 69 and 70 in your um, at-home pack, okay? Open it up and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna do on page 69 is use the word bank of mystery words to fill in the blanks of sentences. So you're gonna read each sentence and decide which word best fits into those blanks. Once you complete that portion, you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to write your own sentences using the mystery words. And don't forget to draw a really great picture to go along with your sentences. On page 70, you're going to be practicing your handwriting skills. I want to make sure all of you are writing nice and neat and making sure you're writing all of the high frequency words we found in our poem today. OK, so you are going to write the word and then you're also going to write the sentence that has those words embedded as well. So have fun, make sure you work on your work and you're nice, neat and clean and you're taking your time, okay? It was great working with you today. I'm so excited that you were able to find all of our words and you were able to participate and read our decodable reader today as well. Hey there, I'm back. I forgot to ask you one question before I left. What did you do today that is helping you become a better reader? Hmm. What things did we do today that helped you become a better reader? Was it tapping out the words and the sounds that help you become a better reader, either on your fingers or your arms? Did it help you to reread the text together? Did it help you when we found the mystery words? Think about that. Share with me what you think made you a better reader today. What from our activities today made you a better reader? I'm listening. That's a great one. I totally agree. Well, bye for now. See you next time.